Hello everyone. Today we have a special lesson about baptism. Now we are a part of the church, the Presbyterian Church, and in our church we have two really special things called sacraments. We have baptism and we have communion. And these are super special times in the life of our church when we celebrate together something very special. Now, I want to first start by telling you that I was baptized when I was a itty bitty baby. I was in my home church with my parents and the Reverend Marion Garrett baptized me. I don't remember anything about that day, but I know my parents remember as they made promises to raise me in the church and to teach me faith and to build my life as a part of a church family. Now, when I got to middle school, I made those choices for myself at a time called confirmation. So where I was baptized as a baby, I got to choose what I believe at confirmation. So today I have a story about baptism. And I want to see what you think. When we baptize, we baptize in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. the Creator, the Redeemer, and the Sustainer. Creator, Redeemer, and Sustainer. This is the water of baptism, the water of creation. The dangerous water of the flood of Noah, the water the Hebrew people went through into freedom, the water that Jesus was baptized in, and the water that you and I were or will be baptized in, and so much more. Now there was once someone who said such wonderful things and did such amazing things that people followed him. And they asked him who he was. And one time when they asked him that question, he said, I am the light. the light. Now the Holy Spirit goes where it will. It flies the invisible wind like a dove and it comes to us when we need comfort and power. It is invisible like the scent or the smell of this oil. It's invisible, but it is still there. Now, I don't know how many of you know much about oils, but I know you've smelled a beautiful flower. And here's a rose with amazing scent. So the Holy Spirit is like a scent. It's invisible, but it's real and powerful. Now in baptism, we ask the person to be baptized questions. Or if it's a baby like this, 
and too little to answer, we ask the parents or the godparents. We say prayers for the baby or the person being baptized, and then we are ready. But first, wait a minute, we need a name. What would you name this baby? I think I'll name him Daniel. So Daniel, that's a good name. I baptize you, Daniel, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bobby, I'm sorry, Daniel, you are sealed by the Holy Spirit in baptism and marked as Christ's own forever. Amen. Now on the day that Daniel is baptized, Daniel receives the light. Daniel is called a child of God. In the day that I was baptized, I was called a child of God and I received my light. In the day that Pastor Robert, my husband was baptized, he was called a child of God and received his light. The day that my children, Madeline, Ann, and Claire were baptized, they were called children of God and they received their light. The day that you were baptized or will be baptized, you are called a child of God and you received your light. So much light. Look at all the light. The light has grown bigger and bigger and yet look at this one flame. Christ the Redeemer's light that has not gotten any smaller, but instead the light has grown. I wonder how that is. That the light can grow and this light never changes, never gets smaller. Now I want to show you something. I'm going to change the light. I don't mean I'm going to put it out. I'm going to change it. So watch what I do. Do you see that smoke? Maybe the camera can come in a little closer. Just pick it up and watch. As I change this light, do you see all that smoke come out? And it's filling the room. So that light is no longer bright light, but it's changed into smoke that is filling the room. So wherever we go today, that light of baptism might just be bumping into us. And there also came a time when Christ, the Redeemer's light, was changed. But that light is also
still with us. Friends, I'm thankful for you, for our church family, and for the sacrament, the special celebration and moment of baptism. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for the waters of baptism. Thank you that you are our creator, our sustainer, our redeemer. You are our Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. We pray, Lord, that you'll bless and keep us. Help us to be the light in the world. Help us to shine our light in the world, especially in the dark places. And thank you for your light that although it was changed years and years ago, it shines as brightly as ever and continues to fill this world. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.